Hey everyone, here's a quick test for you. Let's see if you can pick out the yo's that are closest to lambing. At the end of the video, I'll go and walk through again and point out the ones that I think are going to be next to lamb. This is just a typical walkthrough for me here. Now, I've got yos in this group that some are going to lamb right uh, in the next week or so. Some of them are going to lamb in February. So being January, I think today's the 8th, that gives me potentially up to six weeks before some of these girls will lamb. Um, this year we didn't scan any of them, so there could be a few opens. Something that I don't usually touch on in my videos is the breeds that we run here. We are a primarily purebred Southdown flock, but our commercials are Dorsets. Uh, we have a few Canadian Arcots, and then the replacement lambs out of those yos. So our commercials mostly focus around doors at self down crosses. We also have um, a few border lusters in here. By the way, I will introduce this yo here. This is Anna. Her twin is Elsa. And she's actually quite a suck. She's one of our Canadian yous. This is one of our yearling Dorset self Town crosses. A little bit of a smaller framed view, but... So it's minus 30 out in the open right now. If you look at our thermometer, it's about minus 18, minus 19 here in this shed. So we got a few degrees warmer. And again, this is just a typical walkthrough for me. This is what I'm doing at this time of year, usually about every hour, sometimes every two hours. All right, now I'm just gonna go through and I hope you're watching carefully to see if these were the right yos. So the yos that I'm looking at to be very, very close are, if you look at the Dorset, that's gonna be right over here behind the Lester. Oh, sorry. Haha, -ha, I had the wrong keeping my head there. My apologies. 
Let's see where they're hiding. This you right here, um, I'd say she's probably gonna land next week. If anything in this specific group is going to lamb, the last possible day that they could lamb would be January 20th. Um, and then I pulled my rams. So that gives them about two weeks or so. This ewe right here is very, very close. She's actually on my list for probably going to be one of the next ones to go. And if you look at this dorset right here, I actually am kind of surprised that she hasn't lambed yet. If I can get close to her. As you can see, we've had quite a bit of snow here. Um, we do keep our pen out there, cleaned out as best we can from the snow, but the weather just really hasn't co been cooperating with us. All right, while I'm working my way around to the door set again, that's right here, I'm gonna bring you over. This yo here is another one that's very close. She's one of our Dorset self-down crosses. Um, any of the Dorset self-down crosses are home raised use, and in this group, they would be up to three years old. That's another Dorset that I think is going to be quite close. But going back to the original Dorset I was talking about, that's her right there. If you can see kind of the pear shape that she is, she's a little bit ganted out. You can see that her tail head is cranked up. She's got a tight udder. And her dog is a little bit long, so it's difficult. This year I got behind. Um, and I haven't been able to crutch the yo's the way I normally would. And as you, as you saw in one of my previous videos, how I do that. But even without getting a look at her vulva, which, um, I probably won't be able to get up to her in this video. But if we flip that tail, her vulva would be very puffy, very pink. Um, even without seeing that, you can see all of the rest of the signs. I do believe she's going to be one of, probably the next yo to lamb. And this yo right here, she's another one. She'll probably lamb. She never looks super close to lambing until she drops her lamb. Um, again, I just know that about her. She's a three-year-old. She's one of our crossbreds. Um, I'd say she's probably going to be lambing out mm, about 10 days, right on that two-week mark. A lot of these yos are getting heavy, um, but not starting to show the udders that makes me think they're going to be lambing right away, except for the ones that I've pointed out. This you right here is another one. She will be pretty close to lambing, probably this week. Now, I can get right behind her. She's got a short enough dock that you should be able to see. She's quite puffy around the vulva. Her tail heads up. Yeah, there we go. So you can see how she looks there. So, really, this is where they land. Um, this is probably one of the most in the day of the life videos that I've done so far. I'm not sure if anyone wants to be seeing more of that. If you do want to see more stuff where it's a day in the life of an Alberta sheep farmer, drop a comment, let me know what you think. And if you have any ideas for future videos that you'd like to be seeing, um, 
quite frankly, in almost any area of sheep farming. Again, drop a comment and please like, subscribe and share our videos. We're happy to be helping you guys and love to hear the feedback. From Sheik Livestock, have a great day.